Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and in today's episode we have just began building the warehouse area, basically, where I'm going to be storing all the stuff from the industrialized uh, farming um, machines that we will build eventually. I'm going to have to... Yep, I completely missed that jump. Oh well. As you can see, I'm already terraforming. Yes, I'm going to terraform this down because I want the chest to be pretty high. So, pretty high up in the air. So I'm going to have to have some bamboo scaffolding to reach the top ones, obviously, but um, that's a, another thing for the future. Uh, we'll probably just start out with worrying about what's in the bottom chest when the farm gets started, because it, it will fill the bottom chest eventually, but um, and it won't take it very long either. Um, but basically I'm going to just build it down to the same level as this so I can build another door in this wall here and just connect all this together. So I don't have to walk outside, and if it's nighttime, I can just walk out through the door, go in here, grab what I need, and take it back with me. Uh, that's basically what, the, what I want this to be. Once I've got enough farmed by the farm itself, I can just leave with what I need, come back to get some more, and then once it's empty, I can AFK here and let the farm do its thing. So we're just going to completely terraform this down to the same level as this building and then get started laying the chest out. Uh, I'm not going to do the uh, the water pathway to it just yet because I don't exactly know what the height of the machine itself is going to be uh, or the farm itself is going to be. So. I'd rather just be able to figure that out and adjust as I need to as we get it here. But we'll get everything else set up. The chest will be set up. Um, and the land will be down where I want it to for this. Because obviously it's going to have to have a water elevator, which takes the items, or an item elevator if you will, to take the items up in the air and then drop them into each chest. So. I can actually build the tube for that and have that all set up and ready to go. It's just the fact of the line to that water elevator, I don't know what level that's going to be at. So we'll probably save all that for once I get the farm at a certain level, or at least figure the level out. But I can at least lay the chest out and everything and um, get that going at the bare minimum. So. See how, exactly how many chests I can lay out, actually. Yeah. See, I grabbed all that stuff, so I'm not going to have much room to pick up all the rest of this dirt. <laughs> it's one bad thing. Get so much dirt and have nothing to really use it for. At least that's my problem, anyway. Alright, so let's go drop some of this dirt off. We're not going to need it for a while. I, I keep a hold of it though, because you never know when you're terraforming or if you have to terraform and you're going to need dirt to fill in holes with. Uh, stored in here, I think I stored. Oh, did I store any dirt in here? Yeah, I did. Okay, we'll just store the dirt in here. Its own little chest because it's not really usable for anything except stuff later on. And I could store all these white tulips and stuff, because I just wanted to get them out of there. Let's do that real quick. And the only reason why I stopped this distance is because the water that's behind that dirt wall there. So I'm going to measure out exactly how many chests I can fit in here before trying to terraform too far and then yeah, but I'm basically going to enclose all this in a structure with um, blocks, and that I did not mean to do. <laughs> you ever find a shovel with a fish G5, you're going to probably cry like I am <laughs> right now. <laughs> it destroys like everything for like so far away. I really did not want that to happen right now. Okay, so I'm breaking pickaxe, let's use you. That's why I've got efficiency three or four pickaxe right now. All 
I'd rather the floor be stone anyway, to be honest. Okay, so let's go store all this. Did that really give me 64 cobblestone? That is just insane. That's exactly how much I like to carry on me, and I used most of it. I had like three blocks of it left. Now I'm back up to 64 again. So which one of these did I store my chests in? I think it was the sugarcane box. That's what we forgot to do. We forgot to store that dirt too. Let's let's leave these in here because I don't want them to get blown up. Yep, that's where I store them at. Okay, so let's take a couple stacks of these. Oh no, it's getting dark. Uh, we'll have to be one step in front, like that. That's an even number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, that's not an even number there. There's, there's a lot of creepers out here in this area, of course, which makes sense because it's green out here a lot. Um, so, basically... I'm trying to think. Do I want it to... I think I want it to curve around a little bit then. Maybe, because the water elevator would be back on this side here. That might be alright, though, because I'm... Not really going to need that much. I don't really have that many people on my server right now. I can always expand it out later, too, if I need to. That's no big deal. I just need this block space back here for the hoppers. Because I'm going to have to make a lot more hoppers. I did forget about that. I was just thinking about that earlier. That is a thing I'm going to have to look into doing. And I'm going to have to terraform one more layer out for the the walls. I did not think about that until just now, too. <laughs> so that's 22 chests so far. Let's move my clock up here. not going to make this as large as my brother's, but I would like to have it pretty big to start with because I plan on getting a lot of sugar cane for the paper so I can make even more fireworks and be able to build stuff higher and then just be able to fly up in the air to get it if I have to. Just make little platforms in the future. Four would be a good number to start with for now. And then I can always just make it to where I have some chests out 
on this center too. So that's that's 44 right there. I think that's going to be a good start for now. Let's just go with that. Because right now we need to focus on getting this surrounded by walls and stuff. And uh, get a hole formed for where the... Catching system is going to shove the product in here. So I am going to have to fill in this water over here. fill that in so that way it pushes the water out. So okay, one more block out. chest later if I need to. I think that'd be the best bet. Just add on to it whenever I need to. There we go. Oh, that's way too far. <laughs> Why do I break everything I touch? back in with dirt. <laughs> so we can kind of get our bearings and where we want this to go. Take it. Yeah, 
time. We're gonna have to take it so. Do another layer around, and then I should be able to do the three all the way around without having to stop. item elevator will just send stuff through the wall or the roof, whichever one I prefer. It's probably going to have to come straight through the wall if we want the items to come straight across. So I'm going to have a lot of work to do because I have to get... Um, a lot more hoppers. I'm gonna have to get a lot more iron so I can make a lot more hoppers because I completely forgot about <laughs> needing more hoppers for the storage. <laughs> the storage area for the crops. <laughs> Shame on me. Before we jump down here, we're going to have to put some torches down too. I should have grabbed some more torches, I forgot to. Um, I think I got more torches in one of my boxes, one of my shulker boxes. I know I put them somewhere. So I made a lot more because I knew I was going to have to lay down torches before doing the build for the farm. Because it would be kind of dumb to be up in the air and trying to build this thing and then not have any light down below to prevent things from spawning. I think I grabbed just enough to do this. So it's not going to have a roof on it just yet because I'm not sure if I want to build it out of glass. That way I can actually have a lot more light. Um, we are going to go ahead and place torches down in here though because it would be dumb not to. to do for now. And we're going to go ahead and tear a opening into... Where's the bed at? Well, there's that. It's the bed right here. <laughs> it's close to the bed. <laughs> Just move the bed. Okay, there we go, we got a door. And we'll sleep. I'm not quite sure how I want to do the roof, um, but I think just having an enclosed area up right now, because that's going to have to obviously be taller, um, because it's only one block tall on the outside there. Let's just go out there and look at it, but I'm pretty sure it's only one block tall. So 
So this is two blocks. That'll be enough to keep anything out. Um, you know what? We could probably just take this down to where that's two blocks and then I don't have to build it up any higher. Twitter mob shouldn't be able to jump over it, I don't think. So we'll just do that. Quick. Okay, that should be it. And then um, the tower, build right over top of this water. It'll be in glass anyway. It's going to be two blocks above the ground anyway, so that'll be up to the height of this right here before it drops into the hoppers for those chests. And of course, like I said, I might change my mind and go up higher with those chests too, because there's only 44 chests in there, 44 double chests. And I'll have to do the ma redo the math to figure out exactly what the stacks per harvest is, but I think it's like 16, 15, 16 stacks per harvest. As a matter of fact, I can do the math real quick here, I think. So there's 970, yeah, 970 crops. Uh, maybe 970, I think it's more than that, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it's 980, I think. I think I might have counted that wrong because I, for, I didn't put two crops on the first two slots for the hopper minecarts, where, where the hopper minecarts are, but I can technically put some there. Um, so 980 uh, times 2, that's how many we can get per crop, because obviously the bottom one needs to stay there. So 1960, and then we divide that by 64. Oh, it's 30. It's a little bit over 30. It's about, it's 30.625, which is basically 31 stacks per harvest. So... And we have a double chest, so nine times. Let's see what's nine times a normal chest is what my inventory is, which is 27 slots. So we times that by two, it's 54. So it's about half, it's a little bit over half a chest. So we might be okay for right now, um, for the time being, with what we got out there. Nine, nine's 18, 18's 36, yeah. So that's 54. Gonna have up to 54 stacks of 64. I think that'll be good for now. Uh, the bamboo will be a different story though, because we get a lot more bamboo, so that'll have to be a little bit taller. So I might actually add onto this one just to be at the same height as this one right here once we get the bamboo started though. But I really don't want to build this up too high because I don't have any bamboo. Um, or anything to climb up. And bamboo uh, makes those uh, scaffoldings, and I'd rather use the scaffoldings in front of the chest because I can stop. I don't have to hold on to like a ladder or something like that. And because uh, the ladders, they they don't stop you dead center of anything. Like I like in scaffolding, you can. So let's put all of our dirt up here. Might need that to fill in stuff later on. And we'll go ahead and store the extra. Blocks of these. Store that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this up. That's the exact amount of sugar cane that I need for this farm. That back in here. Okay. Um, so the next episode, we will actually be beginning the build for all of this for this farm. Let's go ahead and grab all these out because we're going to need them all.
So let's just grab them all out. Let them know why I put that up. So I'm gonna need it all. And we need the note block too, so at some point in time. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one of these on me too. I went ahead and turned all those ender eyes into that, into those. So yeah. Okay. That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm sorry it was kind of lame because all we did was just build that storage area. But I still gotta put, like I said, I, I still gotta make hoppers and stuff. So I might have to go back to my um, original spawn point and make some more hoppers with the iron farm, or just get some iron blocks because I have so many iron blocks stored up right now. <laughs> just get some of those and bring them over here and. Um, break them down and uh, to iron and make some uh, hoppers because we got plenty of chests but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of chests because I knew that these industrial farms are gonna take a lot of chests uh, which includes making hoppers out of them too so um, okay I will see you guys in the next episode that's when we'll start the farm